So when we flipped the bus, it wasn't about putting cannons and get this nice flip. It's about getting it to travel and get distance. So we used just a wood ramp to flip the bus. Mike sat there and got some speed. We did it on a downhill. And it was all about getting this thing on its side and getting it moving. <laughs> We really flipped it, then we really dragged it to an edge of a real cliff. The bus that Paul is in is locked from the back. The only way he can get up is through the front of the bus, and now the bus is sliding towards the edge of a cliff, and it's dangling there, precariously about to fall off. I have my rigging team there and Phil Collada doubling. So we have Phil over this 160-foot cliff, and he's inside the bus, which is on a rig, but he has to drop out and hang on the door and then crawl around the front of the bus to the top. And it's all practical. And as it drops, he has to be on the bus and time it. So he gets to the rear of the bus just as it drops away. So it's a one-take deal. And he has to run across the roof and jump off just at the right time. We pushed it to where it's going to start going over. He waited, waited, waited. And when it starts to tilt like that, he starts running. And he hit it absolutely perfect. He is right on the back corner of the bus as it drops 150 feet to the bottom. And now he's in the air. You know. We obviously had all the safety you can do. He was cabled, but he was really running on it. It really went off a cliff. And then we really took the bus and dropped it off of another cliff that went on forever and ever. It's a pretty outrageous, cool sequence that we did all practically. And a lot of different rigs, a lot of stunt work that took timing, and a lot of skill. It looks so good.